Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I've got another video today. This is one of those guy videos. Some of you don't like those videos, so just skip the video if you don't like that. But I've gotten some questions and I wanted to address this topic that I was, I was thinking about and I, I've seen various, this come up in various contexts. I thought I'd, I'd finally address this, this issue. So uh, if you wonder what I'm talking about, about these videos, I, I've done a whole series on these videos. If you're a, a guy looking to uh, grow as a man, to develop yourself, become more of a masculine man and to, uh, to attract women, you can check out the series that I did here on, on that. And you know, if you're wondering about why I do this, it's because I, I find that there, I get a lot of emails and honestly, quite honestly, a lot of you, this is what you need and this is what you want. And so I try to create some of the content that I think is going to be most valuable to a majority of my audience or a large portion of it. So like I said, if you don't like this type of content, totally cool, but I'm not going to stop making it just because a few people don't like it when it is value is valuable to a lot of people. So uh, what I want to talk about today is uh, don't do things or actually what I want to talk about today is why women claim to prefer men who are less attractive. So <laughs> this is kind of funny. So those of you that are, are interested in fitness and, and, and whatnot and are trying to figure out you know, how to be more attractive as a guy. One thing that you may have encountered is, I don't want to call this a lie, it's not really a lie, but this sort of paradox, sort of conundrum of why do women, like if you've ever seen these things where people, where they've rated and they said, okay, well, you know, rate these guys, which guys do you like, which guys are most attractive, and women have rated guys that were not as physically fit, and in some cases, guys that had, quote, dad bods, if you know, you know what I mean there, as as more attractive than guys that obviously had better physical attributes. And if you've been around on the 4chan fit board and you know where all of these places on Reddit and stuff where this is in constant debate, right? Especially in, in any of the fitness communities, right? It's like, you know, there's there's this kind of thing that goes around where, where guys say, oh well guys prefer guys that are ripped and have six pack abs, but women don't. They actually want a guy that's got a little bit more fat and is a little bit softer. And you know, the thing about that is uh, that's not actually true, right? So let me tell, let me, let's talk about the psychology of why, why this is and why you as a guy should, should sort of ignore this in, in what's going on here. So in general, I think, you know, if you took pictures of, of women that are, are rated attractive and you gave them to guys and you said, you, you start, talk to random guys and you said, you know, rate these women, you know, which, which woman do you find most attractive? Most guys are going to pick, you know, some, uh, they're going to pick very similarly, right? They're going to actually look and, and find the most attractive woman physically attractive and they're all going to rate her high. There may be some differences in preference, but if you had sort of a sliding scale that, you know, in, in fitness and, and beauty levels, guys would pick the, the, the 10. They're going to pick the highest one, right? If you do the same thing with, with women, it's not, you're going to get different results. And, and the reason why is you're going to actually get women that are, uh, you're going to get some women that are going to pick the, the 10 guy, right? But you're also going to get, a, you're going to get a majority of women, I would say, from the studies that I've seen, from the results that I've seen, that I believe have been misinterpreted a lot. You're going to get a lot of women that are going to pick the sort of mediocre middle of the, the line guy. So the question is why? What is the psychology behind this? Why would women do this? Why would they quote lie and are they lying in this case? So if you think about it this way, it's just a difference between how men and women behave in, in reaction to, to selecting a, 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 a possible mate, right? So I think a guy is going to aim a lot higher than what he can get, right? That's just kind of general. I don't know if it's, if it's again, societal or if it's a sort of uh, a genetic type of component uh, based into our, our race, just how men and different are, 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 men and women are different. But you're generally gonna see that guys are gonna pick you know, the, the, the best, the better than what their current status level is. Whereas women, what they're generally gonna do, and, and you'll hear this if you, if you listen to some of these, if you search for kind of these studies, 
studies and you actually get the, the results, not just the pick or the, the explanation of why that a woman picked, you know, this guy that was not as quote hot as the other guy, at least or physically attractive. And, and what ends up happening is that a lot of times women say that they feel intimidated by by this guy. I was looking at this study, I, I, don't, I don't really want to link to the video because I'm not sure about the content, but I saw this video where they basically had, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, and they had different guys and, you know, different levels of, of, of fitness. And I mean, there was some, you know, definitely there was one guy that was like super steroided, like total ve veiny, like, you know, not exactly attractive, right? No one would rate it, but there were, you know, another guy that was very much ripped, six pack abs, obviously the most fit, obviously the most, you know, physically attractive guy. And then there was, you know, like I said, different degrees and dad bods and whatnot. And those women that when they, when they're asked, a lot of them picked kind of the, the D guy that was, was not very, you know, not very ripped, like not fat, but you know, like decent. And when they're asked about, well, why didn't you pick, you know, do you really like this guy better when you pick like C or B, who's obviously a lot more, you know, has a six pack and, and is a lot more attractive. And they would say, well, I feel like he was too, uh, too intimidating. And so that's kind of code. So, so for you guys, you got to interpret this, right? Again, this is how women differ in, in that that doesn't necessarily, that explanation, right? Again, I, I talk about this a lot, this idea that don't pay attention to the message, pay attention to the medium. The medium is the message, right? And in this case, what is going on psychologically? Well, women tend to not, they, they tend to pick, they don't want to try and pick a guy that they don't think that they can get. It's sort of, I don't want to say it's embarrassing. I, I don't fully understand the psychology here. I'll be honest, but you see this a lot, right? You see this quite often. Whereas, you know, I've, I've even talked to women and, and asked them about this. And, and basically like if they don't think that they can get a guy, if they think that he's out of their league or out of their class or, or is, is not going to quote fall for them, not chase them essentially. Right? Because women remember guys, they like to be chased, right? This is to be desired is, is probably one of the top things that, that women want. They want to be desired, right? So if they feel like a guy is not going to chase them, not going to desire them, is out of their league in some way, they will, they will actually exclude him <laughs> from their selection and go for something that they think that they can get. That's going to be slightly better than them. They, women, women do want a guy that is better than them, that is out of their league to some degree, that is of, of a higher status than them, right? Or I, I did this video talking about status, right? That women don't want necessarily rich guys, right? That they, they want a guy of, of higher status. But you got to understand that if it's too high up, right, then then that's also going to be an elimination factor. So it can eliminate, right? You know, and, and you see this. You even see this in popular culture in movies. You kind of see this whole thing where you know there's this whole romantic relationship where you know the chick flicks, right? There, there's this really hot guy. And he like sort of tries to hit on this this girl that's more of the average girl. She's good looking, but she's not super super hot. And she kind of rejects him right out, right? And and it's because of this whole thing, right? You see that psychology playing forth where where she's rejecting him because she knows that he's a player and out of her, her league and all of these things. She assumes these things and that he's not really going to be interested in her. And so she's pre rejecting him. And that's sort of the psychology, right? You can you can see that pattern. Whereas if you flip that, right, just to give you a con contrast, a guy would never do that. Some, you know, bombshell 10 out of 10 woman comes up to uh, an, an average looking guy. He is not going to reject her. He's not going to, he's not going to smell a rat at all. He's going to be like, Oh, she must think I'm hot. I'm hot stuff. Right? That's what his, his mindset and his thought is going to be. So where, what can you gather from this? Well, for those of you that guys that are pursuing increasing your physical fitness level, increasing your looks to, to some degree to be able to be more attractive to women, which again, don't get me wrong. I've told you, do it for you. Don't do it just for this purpose, right? Increase yourself, grow yourself, personally develop yourself for you. Don't do it to seek external validation. If you're doing that again, watch my video on not seeking external validation, right? This is important, but still, in the psychology of it, you have to understand that 
do not take what women say about what they find attractive in a, in a man as gospel. Do not believe it. It's not necessarily that they're lying. It's just that you don't, you're not getting an unfiltered kind of primal, because here's the thing, and it has to do again with attraction, right? So guys are more physically motivated, right? So if a woman is has the physical aspects that they're looking for, boom, attraction button is punch, right? Whereas women, it's, it's sort of a little bit different because there's different psychologies going on here. It's not just physical attraction. If it were, right, then, then, <laughs> then, then things would be a little bit different, right? right? W- women have to be a little bit more selecting, right? And, and you could go to, you know, evolution and biology and say, you know, because they have a, a greater parental investment, right? There's different theories behind this. But, but essentially, women sleep with less, or more selective, with mating with a guy than, than guys are with mating with a woman, right? This is this is very e- easy to <laughs> d- d- ascertain, right? There was a study where, and there's been multiple studies, but I forget, I've read this study, multiple books on psychology where, you know, they had an attractive looking guy go up to a bunch of female students in college and, and ask that questions like, will you go, will you go, go sleep with me right now? Will you date me? And I don't know what else right and and they had the same thing with an attractive looking woman asking a bunch of college guys that and I'm sure you can guess the results but basically none of the of the women who said they would sleep with the guy even though he was very attractive whereas a huge section of the men said yes I'll do it right now right so that's just it's difference right it's difference a masculinity femininity however you want to define this but it is clearly different so when you understand that right and, and in that that psychology that's i think that's that's the key right because women are going to behave different so again trying to reel this back in here what does this mean to you guys Again, don't don't take what women are saying, right? Because it, and not not only don't take what they're saying, but there's more factors involved, right? You could be extremely physically attractive to a woman and she would not be interested in you because that's not the primary factor. It's very hard for us guys to get this wrapped around our heads because that, that you know, as shallow as it is, that is the primary factor in meeting selection for men. Let's be totally honest, at least for masculine men, this is the truth. It, it, it is physical att- attractiveness. That has a huge, huge factor. Whereas for women, it does count, of course, right? You know, again, I'm speaking for women, but I'm speaking based on observation and, and a lot of psychology here. But physical attraction is important. But it is not such not the huge primary factor. There's a lot of other things that come into play when a woman is evaluating a man. And that's why, again, that's why I said to you guys that status is really, really important, right? Because you and you see it. You see a lot of guys that are not quite physically attractive, but have a high level of status, or even have a lot of money, right? That's one way of having status, but they are able to attract women that would, would, from a physical perspective, be out of their league. And that's because women are using different factors to decide. So, what does this all kind of boil down to? If you want to be as physically attractive as possible as a guy, ignore what women say about that, <laughs> right? You know, you sort of know, right? You know, I, but but going too far and being like steroided up extremely, you, you know what I mean? Like bodybuilders typically like the ones that actually win bodybuilding competitions. Some women like that, but a majority of women, no. That's, it, it, it looks weird, right? But being aesthetically, as, uh, as aesthetically good looking as possible, from you know having six pack abs, low body fat, you know good proportions, V taper, all of this stuff, that is important, right? It is going to increase the physical attractiveness. Even though you may get mixed responses, you you may if you just flat out ask women which is better, they might say that the the less intimidating body would be better because that's what they feel like they can get because they are a, a, attributing a bunch of other attributes to the really fit guy, right? They might be more physically attracted to this really, really fit guy, to this picture, but they're gonna instantly assume that he's vain, that he's got all these other problems, that he's not gonna be interested in them. There's a lot of things going on, and it can depend on the woman herself, right? So a very, very confident woman, very confident and very comfortable with sexuality might just give you a straight answer, say, oh no, I like the hot guy. The hot guy is is hottest, (laughs) right? That's the guy I would pick. But anyway, that's, that's a lot. There's a lot to unpack here. 
And I think if you observe this, if you start looking for this, these things, because I know a lot of you are looking for like, you know, what what aspects, what what do women find more, most physically attractive? And if you look at the magazines and stuff, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see the wrong information. So don't go based on that. Go based on always go based on primal instinct, right? And understand how you know humans have evolved, how humans naturally, biologically react. We're all still cavemen and cave women, and that's how we, you know, that's why things like physical dominance and, and things like that are important. But again, as a guy, also understand that the physical aspect is not as critical, right? For women, it's a, it's, it's a package thing. It's a, it's a lot of different complex, much more complex equation, right? Again, I, if you want to talk more about this, and I mean, this is something that I unpack a lot in that series that I've done here, you can you can go through all the videos and see sort of why and, and how and, and, and whatnot. What, what not. But anyway, that's it. All I got for for this video. I just thought I would bring that up because I I keep on seeing this come up. I, I saw this thing on Hacker News where this guy did this you know fitness and and he was comparing body types and he was like showing this this much inferior body type that you know that that he was saying oh well, women rate this guy more physically attractive than this guy that's totally ripped and as obviously more attractive and uh, you know I kind of wanted to dispel that myth because it's, it's kind of ridiculous it's kind of ridiculous. even if women are, you know are, are not going to admit this from a very you know instinctual biological level there you know it's it's pretty obvious and pretty easy to judge so that's it. If you like this video, I have a request for you, which is to click this subscribe button below and you will be subscribed to the channel and you'll see more of my videos. I don't do a huge amount of these guy type of videos because I have a lot of other content and personal development. I do about two to three videos a day though and you can check them out here. And uh, if you like this video, if you're already a subscriber, give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will talk to you next time. Take care.